in the quiet, unassuming Prairie Township, an incident of chilling proportions unfolded. A place where tranquility is the norm and a sense of calm permeates the air. Prairie Township is the epitome of an idyllic suburban neighborhood. Nestled amidst the sprawling landscapes of Ohio, it's a place where neighbors greet each other with warm smiles and children's laughter echoes through the streets. Yet, it was in this very place, within the walls of an ordinary home, that a tale of horror was about to unfold. This home, like many in the area, was a symbol of comfort and security, a refuge from the outside world. The familiar scent of home-cooked meals often wafted from its kitchen and the sounds of a bustling family echoed within its walls. It was a place where Trinton Mendoza and Francisco de Jesus Rodriguez found their sanctuary, their haven. It was also within these walls that they would meet a tragic fate. Unbeknownst to them, the shadows of their home would soon bear witness to a crime so horrifying, it would send ripples through the community. A crime that, despite its gruesome nature, would remain shrouded in mystery, as the quiet night concealed the gruesome act from the world outside. On the fateful day, the sun set as usual, casting long shadows across the township. The neighborhood gradually drifted into the peaceful hum of the night, with the flickering streetlights standing as lone sentinels in the quiet streets. The Mendoza Rodriguez house, too, settled into its nighttime rhythm, its inhabitants completely unaware of the storm that was about to hit. But beneath this tranquility, a storm was brewing, a storm that would shatter lives and leave a community in shock. June 14, 2022 started as an ordinary day, but it was anything but ordinary. In Prairie Township, Ohio, the sun rose on a quiet residential street where neighbors would soon be rocked by an unthinkable act of violence. At the heart of this story are Mason Thompson Bray, a 22-year-old with a troubled past and his yet-to-be-identified accomplice. Their target? Two unsuspecting residents, Trenton Mendoza and Francisco de Jesus Rodriguez. As the day unfolded, Bray and his accomplice set their sinister plan into motion. Their objective was simple but deadly, a robbery. But this was no ordinary burglary. Bray and his partner had something much more dangerous in mind. Under the guise of daylight, they entered the victim's home. Armed, dangerous, and with a clear intent, they didn't just come for valuables. They came prepared to eliminate any obstacles that stood in their way. Inside the house, a chilling scene unfolded. Trenton Mendoza and Francisco de Jesus Rodriguez, two individuals leading their lives unaware of the impending danger, came face to face with their assailants. The air was thick with tension as Bray and his accomplice brandished their weapons, their eyes cold and unyielding. In the ensuing chaos, shots were fired. The quiet suburban home was transformed into a scene of horror. Trenton and Francisco, two lives intertwined by an unfortunate twist of fate, were caught in the deadly crossfire. In a terrifying turn of events, what began as a robbery spiraled into a double homicide. The echoes of gunshots reverberated through the house, a chilling reminder of the violence that had just unfolded. In the blink of an eye, Trenton Mendoza and Francisco de Jesus Rodriguez's lives were brutally snuffed out. As the news of the double homicide spread, the wheels of justice began to turn. The task of unmasking the culprits fell on the shoulders of the Central Columbus Police Department detectives. Armed with their training, experience, and an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of justice, they began to piece together the puzzle of this heinous crime. The first break in the case came in the form of a pickup truck. This wasn't your average vehicle, mind you. It was spray-painted and seemed out of place, raising the detective's suspicions. Their instincts proved correct when the truck was traced back to none other than Bray's father's home. This discovery was akin to finding a piece of a jigsaw puzzle that suddenly makes the whole picture a little clearer. But the detectives knew they needed more. They needed irrefutable evidence that could stand up in a court of law. And so, they turned to modern technology. Surveillance footage and cell phone records became their allies in this pursuit of truth. The surveillance footage was a silent witness to the crime. 
It showed Bray and an accomplice entering the victim's home with the intent to rob. The images captured were chilling and spoke volumes about the cold-blooded nature of the crime. Cell phone records, on the other hand, were instrumental in mapping the suspect's movements and activities before and after the crime. Each call, each text, each data usage was scrutinized, providing the detectives with a virtual breadcrumb trail leading back to the suspects. The detectives' dedication and determination were unwavering. Their meticulous investigation, their relentless pursuit of every lead, their seamless blend of traditional detective work and modern investigative techniques were instrumental in building a robust case. And so, the noose began to tighten around Mason Thompson Bray. Behind this heinous act were two individuals, their hearts shrouded in darkness. Mason Thompson Bray, a 22-year-old with a twisted sense of ambition, and Skylar Van Houten, his accomplice, whose identity remained a mystery for a considerable time. Bray was not a stranger to the world of crime, but the severity of this act was unlike anything he had been involved in before. Raised in a seemingly normal environment, his life took a dark turn, leading him down a path of destruction. The question that haunts us is what drives a young man to commit such atrocities? Was it a desperate need for financial gain or something far more sinister lurking within his psyche? Skylar Van Houten, the second player in this grim tale, remained elusive for a while. His involvement came to light only when Bray, under the weight of his guilt and the relentless pursuit of the law, confessed to the crime. Bray's confession was chilling, a stark admission of the robbery and the ruthless shooting of Trenton Mendoza and Francisco de Jesus Rodriguez. The confession, however, was not just a testament of his guilt. It also threw light on Van Houten's involvement, turning the spotlight onto him. The search for Van Houten was intense, a race against time to bring justice for the victims. The detectives left no stone unturned, using every available resource to locate him. Yet for a time, he remained a shadow, a faceless entity, his identity known but his whereabouts a mystery. Their actions, driven by greed and disregard for human life, would soon catch up with them. The law may be slow, but it is thorough, and in the end, it always catches up with those who dare to defy it. January 8th, 2024, marked the day of reckoning for Bray and Van Houten. In the hallowed halls of the Franklin County Courthouse, a tense atmosphere enveloped the room. The court proceedings were about to reach a climax. The charges were grave, the evidence damning. Bray and Van Houten stood accused of 17 counts, including murder, aggravated murder, and aggravated burglary with firearm specifications. The prosecution presented a formidable case. The detectives from the Columbus Police Department had done their part, meticulously gathering crucial evidence. Surveillance footage and cell phone records painted a chilling picture of the events leading up to the tragic double homicide. The spray-painted pickup truck found at Bray's father's home only added to the mounting proof of their guilt. As the evidence was laid bare, the tension in the courtroom was palpable. The gravity of the situation was felt by all. The moment of conviction drew closer. The jury, having heard the evidence and weighted against the charges, retired to deliberate. The wait was agonizing, but finally, the verdict was in. Bray and Van Houten were found guilty on all charges. The courtroom buzzed with a mix of relief and sorrow. Relief for justice was finally served. Sorrow for the lives cut short by this senseless act of violence. Justice, although delayed, was not denied. In the wake of such tragedy, a community mourned and healed. The echoes of this heinous crime still reverberate through the tranquil streets of Prairie Township, a grim reminder of the senseless violence that claimed the lives of Trinton Mendoza and Francisco de Jesus Rodriguez. Their families, forever scarred, found strength in shared sorrow, their resilience serving as a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. We pay homage to Trenton and Francisco, their vibrant lives brutally cut short, yet their spirits continue to inspire. In their memory, we strive for a world where such senseless violence ceases to exist. Thank you for joining us on this journey and remember to subscribe to our channel for more true crime stories.